Hey, happy Monday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, this storm is getting even stronger. Matter of fact, we have our chances for strong, significant tornadoes back again. And for tomorrow, it has grown as well with our enhanced section. And it is going towards the East Coast a little bit and a little bit towards Florida after that. So I'm going to give you all the latest information in this video. That way, you know exactly what you can expect. And it's bringing a huge snowstorm on the wraparound, all the way from Wisconsin, Michigan, and the Northeast, showing anywhere from 8 inches to a foot. So, so far for tornadoes for today, it has grown. It has changed all the way from Texas, still all the way towards a little bit of West Virginia. But your biggest area is still right over here towards Oklahoma, Northwestern Arkansas, going into Missouri. Now, we still have our significant tornadoes for today, and that has moved as well. It's because of the vorticity, low pressure your placement has changed but anywhere in this region right here is where they are expecting at least a ef2 or stronger strength that don't mean you will have one that just means that this, the atmosphere is primed to get one but the hail threat today is large and it has changed so not only the big area you have the chance for significant hail a huge area a little bit of western indiana but going all the way from illinois through missouri and this is chances for large hail, at least two inches in diameter Going through Kansas, Oklahoma, also Arkansas, and all the way down through Texas, all the way down past Austin, all the way towards San Antonio. A large area that you need to watch for for significant hail, at least two inches in diameter. So that's pretty major. Plus, you can see how big it goes. It goes all the way towards Virginia with these storms. And we still have our area for tomorrow also, and we have the enhanced section. So we do have our chances for tornadoes for tomorrow, and we do have the best place right here for the Tennessee, Kentucky Valley. That is the strongest region, chances for those tornadoes. Remember I told you the low pressure is gonna form somewhere around here, then that's where you get that vorticity. Plus, as this moves northern, it's going to park right here by the Great Lakes and bring that cold air around and bring your snowfall. Now, once we get around 3 and 4 o'clock today, it's going to start raising up on these storms all the way from Indiana, Illinois, going through Missouri. And look how this line of storms just congeals together, bringing a lot of your threats. So you have your threats going through the Ohio Valley and the Great Lakes, also down here from Missouri, Oklahoma, and it also stretches into Texas. But look at this line of storms that grows up. By the time you get to 9 o'clock tonight, you have a lot of hail cores all the way from the DFW, Oklahoma, through Arkansas, through Missouri, going a little bit of Iowa, going through Illinois, through Indiana. And this goes all evening long. Look at this. As you go through 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, still got all these storms, 12 o'clock going overnight. You still got a bunch of storms northern. You still got your hail cores passing through from Missouri and southern Illinois. And for tomorrow morning, it comes right back. But look at these overnight storms you have with all these hail cores. A big nasty group that's moving across southern Illinois, going across southern Indiana as you go overnight in the early morning hours. Then for tomorrow morning, it's moving by southern Ohio. Also got some more hail cores in those cells as they pass by. Going towards West Virginia as they go towards 7 to 8 o'clock for tomorrow morning. But then it congeals right back up as you get a daytime heating for tomorrow, 1, 2 o'clock. Now you're getting this hail course going from Illinois, and that's going directly over into Indiana. Be aware that that looks like a very strong cell if it actually plays out like this model is showing. And then as you go towards tomorrow evening, 4 or 5 o'clock, I will go through the snowfall in just a second. But look at all these very strong cells. you got all these strong supercells going all the way into Ohio with your hail course, all the way into Canada, also Kentucky, Tennessee going through Mississippi and northern Alabama as you go through tomorrow evening. Strong storms. It will stay northern because you have all this heat aloft over here by the Gulf. But look at these hail cores. Just saying 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Strong hail core potentially passing through northern Alabama going by Huntsville. So there's a lot of places that have all these strong hail cores that's coming with them. Look at this. 8 o'clock going all the way into Tennessee and Kentucky bringing those hail cores, bringing the hail cores into West Virginia. Also, a lot of powerful storms going by just for today and for tomorrow. Plus, you got the snowfall coming in. So as you go towards tomorrow for 10 o'clock in the morning, it's going to start bringing this big snowstorm, a lot of heavy banding as it comes by Iowa, Wisconsin, and goes into Michigan. And you can see the pivot point right where it's going to pivot some more. And that's where the euro is showing. This is just going to pivot and bring more snowfall 
before it goes out through the northeast, bringing more snowfall for y'all as well. Also showing the atmosphere is primed for they have a lot of tornadoes to come out, not just hail, not just damaging winds. I am showing a trail of, you know, up to 50 miles per hour wind gusts. I'll go through that. But not just that, also chances for the tornadoes and the heavy snowfall that's coming with this system. So here's the cities that are at risk for today. So for your tornado threat, you have the 2% in the green, the 5% in the brown, but you also got a 10% in the yellow and a significant severe in the same area. Chances for strong tornadoes, maybe EF2 or greater. So here's your cities and states at risk for the tornado threat for today. And the two lines on top, the white and yellow, is a significant severe potential. Plus, you have the wind threat for today. You got the 5%, the 15 in the yellow, and your biggest threat right here in the 30%. So here's your cities and states at risk for the damage and winds for today. Plus, you have your hail threat as well, just like I showed you. You also got a significant severe in all this black. It's at least two inches in diameter. I think we could see larger than that for today. So here's your cities and states at risk for the hail threat for today. And your large hail, your significant severe is this black line on top. National Weather Service has severe weather is expected to occur over a broad region from the Southern Plains, the Ozarks, portions of the Ohio Valley and into the small part of the Mid-Atlantic. Large to very large hail, damaging winds and tornadoes, some strong are possible. The severe threat will peak this afternoon and evening in the southern plains with the greatest threat for the Ohio Valley vicinity being the evening and overnight period. So you see for today, you do have your dew points going all the way up towards Indiana, Ohio, even Illinois. Very strong 60s. And as you go overnight, it does hang around as you go overnight into the next day. Also, you can see your cape, your lift. This is all food for these thunderstorms to grow. That as you go through the evening, it really gets strong as you go through 5 o'clock. Very strong lift coming with this setup, bringing a lot of energy all the way from Texas, Oklahoma, going into Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, and going towards Ohio and Kentucky as well, bringing a lot of lift as we go through the evening. It's going to be a powerful day for today now you can see with your significant tornado perimeters which shows your best chance for tornadoes you do get a little bit of redness going across from illinois into indiana into ohio for today but the strongest today is going to be around 6 and 7 p.m and this is building up right around 7 and 8 o'clock for northern missouri going through oklahoma going through northern texas going to western arkansas also showing that right when these line of storms congeal together this is where you're going to have your biggest tornado threat. Right when you start getting around 3 and 4 o'clock, even up to 5, you're going to start getting these strong cells moving across northern Missouri. And you can see it is chances for your tornadoes. And look how it just grows through the evening as you go through northern Missouri. So you got to watch for themselves as it sparks up, as that surface low digs in deeper. Then you get a few more potential supercells rotating thunderstorms that passes through. And this is where it's stronger also as you go further to the south. So as you go further to the south, it's a little bit of a smaller event with these cells passing through. But you can still see them. They're all singular. It's just a big mesoscale convective system moving through. And that is what's going to bring you your big threat for today. Then that's going to move through Ohio Valley and the Great Lakes as you go overnight for tomorrow. So for Tuesday, your tornado threat, you have your 2%, you have your 5%, but you also got your 10% right here for the Tennessee and Kentucky. So far, here's your cities and states at risk for Tuesday for tornadoes. You also got the wind damage threat for tomorrow. You got the 5% in the brown, you got the 15% in the yellow, but you also got the 30% in the red. So here's your cities and states at risk for damage and winds for Tuesday. Also, your hail threat. It's a little bit less, but I did show you those hail cores. We still have them. It is still going to be strong. I think the biggest threat is going to be right here in this 15% section. So far, here's your cities and states at risk. Now, for Tuesday, National Weather Service has a severe threat as expected on Tuesday from the Ohio and Tennessee valleys, eastward into the Mid-Atlantic, and southward into the central Gulf Coast states. Wind damage and isolated large hail will be possible across a broad area. The tornado threat is expected to be greatest from Middle Tennessee north northeastward into central and northern Kentucky. Now Wednesday there will be another low area of severe weather, two areas of 5%. Just remember that. So far here's your cities and states at risk.
But for tomorrow, the atmosphere is also prime. This is where you get those strong 60 dew points raising way up. And look how you go overnight into the early morning hours. It still brings these dew points over. But look how it carries up northern, bringing those 60s with those storms for tomorrow. And you can see where your cape, your energy, you have all that energy coming across with that as well. So it's not just for today, it is overnight also, and then again for tomorrow, it's gonna come right back. And that is what's bringing your significant tornado perimeters. You have all the factors at play as you go through the evening for 1 p.m. through Indiana, and starts going a little bit through Ohio for the rest of the evening as you get these storm cells passing through, and they are some nasty looking cells. Look how you just come across, very dark red, could be chances for hail as well in those, but a lot of singular cells, a little bit of super cells as they come by, they're gonna be rotating, and as it comes by for Ohio also all evening long, and as it goes into the Northeast, everything starts calming down. But then you got this huge snowstorm that is building. Look at the banning on that. As you go through tomorrow morning, Iowa, Wisconsin, then it transitions into Michigan. Get a little bit of rain with Michigan, maybe even northern Illinois. Very heavy banding coming with that. And when you look with the Euro, it just keeps adding up to a lot of snowfall while it's just pivoting on that storm. Michigan, you get snow, but you get rain as well. Then it goes right back to the northeast. A lot of snowfall coming. And hail, you can see as you go through the evening, it really sparks up for northern Texas, but really for Oklahoma, northwestern Arkansas, southeastern Kansas, going through Missouri and through central and southern Illinois. And then it starts wilding down as it goes through Indiana and Ohio. Then as you go overnight, you get more hail for southern Missouri, southern Illinois, going into southern Indiana. Then it pops right back up again for tomorrow bringing some strong storms, but showing that the 50 miles per hour wind gusts will go all evening long. Then it'll go overnight through Kentucky, a little bit of Southern Ohio. Then for tomorrow, come back again for Indiana and Ohio and go out through Michigan and Canada. And maybe a little intercoastal Northeast, maybe Western New York, get in on some 50 miles per hour wind gusts and more. Remember, this is gonna be a big snowstorm over here also. But showing so far, it starts off in Mexico with 50 miles per hour wind gusts, almost 60. That's what that red is. Western Texas, New Mexico. But look how it brings the 40s and the high 50s across Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, even western Iowa. Then it goes across southern Illinois, southern Indiana, and southern Ohio. And Kentucky and Tennessee. Look at this in Ohio Valley. You are getting a lot of winds across y'all as well. This whole region right here. 40 to 50 miles per hour wind gusts. Some for Western North Carolina. This is going to be a higher elevations. And maybe even some for the South. But look over across the North. This is bringing that 40 and that 50 miles per hour wind gusts. Maybe even further. You can only see so far with HRRR. And you can see with the Euro as you keep going through. It does bring more winds y'all way. 40 and 50 miles per hour wind gusts. Bringing 60 and 70 maybe over here by Maine. This is usually where this pivot point is. That's why you get a lot of winds, you get a lot of rain. Probably a lot of snowfall as well, but higher elevation is showing 50 and 60 miles per hour wind gusts also. And showing as you keep on going, it is bringing a monster of a snowstorm all the way towards the northeast also. That's where it's showing a lot of the snow is going to start adding up. It's going to start coming in Wednesday and Thursday still and bringing a lot of good snowfall. Maybe adding up to some more on Friday. Showing the higher elevations of northern New England still getting potentially a foot. And then the next storm system coming in on the west coast is going to bring more snowfall with that as well. Thank you for your time, everybody. Hope you all have a very safe evening. Make sure you check on your neighbors. Make sure you check on your pets. That is very important. Not a lot of people get notified, even though we try and do a lot as we can here on YouTube. Many people here, there's still people that don't get notified and alert to these storms. And this is going to be a big, nasty one. So please check on your neighbors. Thank you so much. Psalm 46, 1 through 3. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. Selah. Amen. And Selah means think about what you just heard. 
because you will see it. Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. Selah. All glory goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. May he always keep you safe, now and forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Have a great day, everybody. Be safe.